Hello everyone, this is Lazar Shine. I am going to share this video to everyone that I have been on my 15 days post of surgery, hemorrhoidectomy surgery. Uh, I've been living in this in a discomfort life uh, with my hemorrhoid for about long time ago because I have my my youngest is 20 years old right now, and I've been working my entire life lifting heavy stuff, doing exercise, and it's really this so discomfort, and it's not really fun at all. So I decided to um, do a hemorrhoid surgery. So before it happened, on 2019, I went for... Um, colonoscopy because I have been bleeding so much so I thought there's might gonna be problem with my colon or anything disease right so I went for 2019 I went for colonoscopy at University of Alberta and it turns out it's negative and I am negative of any disease or anything uh, about problem with my colon but instead I have a really big issues with my internal and external hemorrhoid that it's been over like over long years it's getting growing and it's not really even healing at all it's not really even getting better so um i've been waiting for that one 2019 and 2020 the pandemic happens and uh all surgeries are cancelled depending on how severe is the surgery so but mine it can can be wait for you know when it's back to normal or it's ready so it happens like on the day of the 2021 early 2021 uh, i receive a call that my surgery will gonna be uh ready on um the 6th of january but unfortunately, I have a COVID symptoms, so I canceled that one. And um, so I do a rescheduling and I receive a call again on February and it happens that uh, all, everything is all set up and done. Everything schedules my, my, from my work and all those holidays that I need to uh, book everything is done already and then suddenly i receive a call that the anesthesiologist is not available on the day of the surgery of february so they reschedule it again for a month you guys enjoy this video um some few tips and helpful uh tips with my journey on my hemorrhoidotomy surgery it's not a fun and enjoyable journey at all for the past 10 days but right now it is my 15 days um um hemorrhoidectomy surgery and it's getting better every single day the only thing that i can advise is uh drink more fluid fluid or liquid or anything that uh and use uh, metamucils or anything that can loosen your stool um eat high fiber food not a uh, uh, lot of vegetables and uh, fruits that's the only thing that i can um do for that one and um it's really not fun journey at all <laughs> hope you enjoy this video we're heading to our surgery day so it's 11 30 p.m 8 a.m bala See you later. So after the surgery, it went well. So around 6 o'clock, someone's already uh, waking me up and getting ready to go home because it's only a day surgery and before you're going to a surgery uh you need 
the the hospital will gonna ask you for uh, assigned driver or assigned or someone will gonna pick you up uh, after the surgery. So that's I remember it's seven forty five or seven o'clock. I I'm already home. I'm just like sleeping the entire time the whole night, and the next day I'm trying to go pee or going to the bathroom. It's just really hard for me. It's just like I don't feel pain yet, but it's just like crazy so on the second day i called my doctor and asking about uh if i can use a stool softener because the second day i'm still not having any um uh bowel so and they told me like it's so early and uh, the wand it's so fresh so just wait until it's getting ready for you to go don't uh, just like follow the the diet like more fluid more liquid uh, fruits and vegetables and more uh, eat high fiber food so I went for um, and then feel the pain already on the third day so I cannot really even um, sleep without having my pain reliever and I'm it's really hard to go to the bathroom I'm just only going to pee and I don't know if I'm going to fart or anything but it's just like I see some blood coming out on my uh, on on my diaper because I am using uh, adult diaper and um, just like so crazy so and then on the because that doctor told me not to push too much if it's if it's not ready for you to go for um bowel and then i went my first bowel was on the fifth day in the morning everything is crazy it's just like the pain i don't i cannot really even rate the pain it's just so crazy and i have been bowel for those like my first bowel was just in the morning and then I went back again like in the middle of the day and in the afternoon. I feel like for the past five days that I'm not going into the bathroom, it's just like my stomach is really, really empty. And I feel so relieved, but the pain is crazy. Sometimes if I finish going to the bathroom, I just like cover myself with pillow and scream out loud. It's just like unbearable pain and I cannot live without my pain reliever for past 10 days and um, I am very thankful that I been getting better every single day and this is my 15th day of my post-op surgery and I've been feeling better every single day I'm not relying anymore on my uh, pain reliever I'm trying not to but I am still, I'm using um, hydrocortisone to like, because now it's healing. The healing process is just like so itchy. It's just crazy. And I I put that one on my um, anus, like the, the, the part of the surgery. I put those uh, ointment, the hydrocortisone to just like numbing and the numbing cream. It helps uh, with the uh, itchiness and getting better every single day. And my, I've been doing, I've been going to the bathroom regularly every single morning and in like twice or three times. Hopefully, I can go back to work five to five, five or ten days after this, after today. So I am looking forward to going back to normal and not feeling of discomfort anymore with my hemorrhoid that I've been suffering for such a long time. So, and the healing process is also depending on yourself or each an individual has a different uh, healing process. So this is the food that I only eat during the recovery. So I'm doing some shake as well.
Hope you enjoy watching with this video. I know it's uncomfortable and it's not fun at all, but hope you enjoy watching. Thank you. I will gonna do another video after a month of my recovery and hopefully it will be better soon. Thank you.